Alright kids, one more video tonight because I feel really stupid that I didn't um, grab uh, the key the first time. We gotta go back up into the office where the dead guy- wow, deja vu moment again. Alright, um, gotta go back into the office where that dead guy is and do stuff in there. Party. Yeah, I don't know. Examine desk. On the desktop, there was a pool of dried blood. There was a drawer on the other on the other side of the desk. That's where we're supposed to go to. Open the desk. Yeah, desk. Pencil. Key three. It's a common number two pencil. It's a key marked front. There would be the front door key party. What? Oh, not open. Take. Damn. Okay. Take the key three. Bum, 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 bum. Take the pencil. Alright, now we can go back to our main goal here of getting the fuck out. I know. I know. Alright, cool. Nobody's in the bar. It's empty. That's true. Let us tomato. Alright. Key three. door. Click! The key unlocks the front door. Alright, let's go. I don't think I have to open it. Yay. You're on the street in front of Joe's bar. You can't see anybody. Okay. Um... There's a specific way I'm supposed to walk. If I recall. It's a very fine looking Mercedes. Well, there's that Mercedes, but I need to walk somewhere. I don't know, let's go with here. No, that's not where I wanted to go. Okay, that honestly scared the shit out of me. You see a mugger in your way. He wants all of your money. It might be wise to give it to him. Well, that's of course one option. The other option would be to hit him in the face. Sacco! Sacco, a quick jab to the mugger's eye, stunts him. He runs down the street, shouting, I'll be back. He really will be back, too. Okay, now let's try to do that better. over here. It can't be moved if it's not opened. Okay, let's go over here. Here we go. A woman comes out of nowhere and says, it's been a while. I just got out of prison. I wanted to pay our old friend Siegel a visit, but I only found his car out front. So I prepared a little surprise under the hood. Something to even the score. I got a little surprise in my purse for you too. Well, as interesting as that little surprise sounds, also sounds a lot like a gun. So I'm gonna punch you in the face. Sako. Sako. She's out like a light and her purse drops to the ground. <laughs> That's a great image. You are standing over the lady you just knocked out. I wouldn't advise standing here much longer. Probably a good call. Let's get into that purse. And we just beat up on a lady. Let's steal. 
Okay. Examine. It's a Saturday night special. A small gun that you can get anywhere. Cool. It's a $20 bill. It's a makeup kit. I don't think that makeup kit's gonna come in handy, but let's take the other shit. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, let's let's get out of here before she wakes up. Okay, now of course we just learned that um the car ostensibly has a bomb in it. So let's go in the car. You're saying, what? Why would we do that? Well, there's a reason. Key 2, I believe, is the Mercedes key. I would like to use it on a car. Click! The door is now unlocked. Let's go. You see nothing unusual about the plush interior of the Mercedes-Benz. Okay, if you try to start the car, you die. Open the dashboard. Note 2, map, and snapshot. It's a car registration made out to Joey Siegel of 1212 West End Street. Sweet second address for our address book. It's a street map. The way to Joe's Bar is marked in ink. The address is 1050 Peoria Street. The writing on the map reads Ace. Follow this route. That way you'll know if you're being followed. Be careful. You don't want the cops to find Mrs. Sternwood in the trunk. Okay. That, that can't be a good thing. Generally having people in the trunk is bad. It's a snapshot of a 400 pound woman. You feel as if you should recognize her. Maybe it's Mrs. Sternwood. Well, awesome. Um, cool. That was stuff. And, um, I think I'm going to end this video here because you can't top that and stuff. Um, I just punched a lady in the face. Cheers.